Every night this week, don't miss the nightly show with Bradley Walsh. And he's got singer Michael Bolton and actor Vinnie Jones on his first show tonight at 10. Monday morning, and time to say, good morning Britain. Good morning, Britain. The news you're waking up to, travelling to the front line in the war against the Islamic State. The Prime Minister is to head to the Middle East for talks on terror, trade and the refugee crisis. Yes, the three-day trip will see Theresa May touching down in Jordan before moving on to Saudi Arabia to build her global Britain post-Brexit. Ready to go it alone, President Trump says the US will take action on the North Korean nuclear threat if China fails to do so. As a former Conservative leader suggests the UK will be prepared to go to war over Gibraltar, Falklands veteran Simon Weston joins us with his take on protecting the rock. A nation of crybabies, why Britain's very young are bawling more than most, and how rushing to comfort them could be making the problem worse. Monday, 3rd of April, 2017, live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Kate Garraway and Charlotte Hawkins. Good, Good morning. morning. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Looking very tan, very Been off relaxed. On my holidays, I have to say. I know, I went all the way to the Maldives to get some sunshine, and you've had a heat wave here in my absence. We've had a bit of sun. We've had done quite well. Very Probably nice. not quite Maldives standards. <laughs> no, I don't think so, so <laughs> well, It has Listen, been spring-like. <laughs> lovely. And, it, of course, it's lots of schools have got their Easter holidays today, haven't they? Yeah. Piers and Susanna off. But we've arranged a bit of a special replacement, haven't we, for next week that uh, we, have. we can tell everyone about this morning. Eamon Holmes will be joining us next week. He will be gracing the sofa once more. And, of course, a blast from the past for both of us, because we've both worked with him for many Definitely. years in the past, haven't we? He'll be very familiar with the studio, won't he? Because this is where he used to be for GMTV. He did. So yeah. we'll be welcoming him next week. Very exciting. In the meantime, though, let's find out what the weather's doing today, because Laura's at Kew Gardens for us this morning. Morning, Laura. And I'm hoping that some of this sunshine's going to continue so I can top up the rest of my tan. <laughs> I'm just wondering what colour you are, Charlotte. I'm guessing you're slightly off-white. But weather-wise, yes, you have brought some of that sunshine with you, but it's a foggy start this morning. We're here at Kew, surrounded by stunning cherry blossom, and they really have come out in abundance over the last week. Bad news for hay fever sufferers, because it means levels, actually, if you suffer from tree pollen, are moderate, even high for some of us. Today, if you have the sunshine, make the most of it, because tomorrow's looking cloudy and a bit dull. But then the rest of the week, for the start of the Easter holiday, Days isn't looking too bad, so we'll have all the details on when the weather turns in about half an hour's time. Laura, thanks very much indeed. So, our main news this morning, tackling terror and boosting trade will be top of Theresa May's agenda today as she visits the Middle East for the first time since becoming Prime Minister.